can't check into the hotel till like three or four. So I think we're gonna go to Whole Foods and you know, you know like what I do. I like to load up on snacks and waters and then we'll figure out a plan of action. But yay, Coachella 2023! <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that makes it something. Running into every wall and corner. I don't know how you got stuck Wait, doing that. Really exercise. Okay, she volunteered, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, our room is so cute. It's a very quick room tour before we move in all of our stuff. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, we have a view of the pool. Wait, you did. Look how cute this is. All right, let's do this thing, baby. Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Palm Springs vlog. I know I was just here, but we are back. I'm here with Eugen. We're here for Coachella, I'm so excited. But if you watch my vlogs, you already know that. We literally just got in like a couple of hours ago. I put some B-roll in, I was making all our stops to pick up our wristbands. We went to Whole Foods, so much done. We got a lot done to be honest with you. <laughs> and now we've decided we're gonna park by the pool for a few hours and start our Coachella weekend off on a very chill note because we're both running on very little sleep. <laughs> so welcome to the vlog, subscribe if you're new, and let's have an amazing weekend for Coachella 2023. Woo! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Taco cheers! We found some vegan tacos. Yum! Dinner was delicious. We are going back to the room to shower and then we're going to bed. I'm not gonna lie. We're We're exhausted. We are so tired, so we're literally gonna go to bed so that we can have a nice full day at Coachella Day One tomorrow. So good night. so tired fully slept from nine to six oh, i needed that sleep oh my gosh look eugen's husband is watching penny and bali and he sent this picture of their dog astro and penny and bali this morning look how cute they are i miss the girls i haven't left them and i've actually never left with bali with anyone but my mom and I've only left Penny with Brooke one time, so this is kind of a big deal that I left the dogs. <laughs> but clearly, they're well taken care of and they're doing great, so that makes me happy and I love the picture updates. Time to get dressed and go get coffee. First things first, sauerkraut and a ginger shot. <laughs> we did go to Whole Foods yesterday, as you saw, and we got some stuff. This is actually almost like kind of frozen from that little fridge, so I think I'm gonna leave it out while I go get coffee. But I am gonna have a little immunity shot and my vitamin C pack, like I do at home. All right, we are on the hunt for coffee. I think I'm gonna walk to Starbucks. It's not too far from here. And maybe also get a green juice or a celery juice or something. I honestly still feel like I'm waking up. <laughs> I'm still so tired. Oh my gosh, that was a big day yesterday. Heading to the gym. I think Eugen's down there now and I might get a little 30 minute workout in. And then Eugen and I are going to figure out what our plans are for today and decide what time we're gonna head to the festival. I feel so much better, oh my gosh. That just like really woke me up, shifted all the stagnant energy around and out of my body and I feel like myself again. <laughs> 
excited to bring Eugene to the Ace Hotel for breakfast at Kings Road Highway <laughs> Diner. We just did photo booth pictures and we are waiting for them to come out. It came out cute also. LOI was not ready and quite literally screamed, oh my God, after the flash went off. That is so cute. I've got a little cheers pick me up. We are gonna go back to the hotel, get ready and then head to the festival. Getting ready, I will show you the look in a moment. First, we are gonna pregame with some coconut water. <laughs> Wow, we're so responsible. <laughs> it's really hot, you guys. It's really hot. And we do not want to be dehydrated. We do not want to feel badly. So we got coconut water yesterday. That's when you know you're in your 30s, when you're more <laughs> concerned with staying hydrated than getting buzzed. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to coconut water. <laughs> I still have to brush out my curls and stuff, but we're doing both doing little two-piece outfits. We'll show you the full look. I have my Bromelia bikini on underneath, and yeah, I'm excited. Yay! Yay. We both have little cowboy boots on too. We're going I western. I totally copied Shayla. Uh, hey, it's totally loud. We will be drinking a little bit, but not a lot. I don't want to feel bad tomorrow, you know? We did also get these because neither one of us really drink very often. <laughs> I don't want to be hungover. <laughs> and Eugene's like, yeah, me either. So I've taken this before and it helps a lot. So we're avoiding hangovers at all costs. I feel like I'm going to get asked my outfit. I'll link my bikini below and I'll link the belt too. But this sheer top and skirt and my boots are from that boutique in Orange County that I went with my mom to when I was in Orange County called Luna B. So I don't think I can find the link for it. Sorry. Everything else will be linked below in the description box. up and walking to go get well I'm getting coffee and then we're gonna get a juice slash smoothie brought my peak tea coffee secured got another garlicky grains juice <laughs> just came out to come to the pool and look how cute this is they have this whole little event set up I'm taking my coffee and Eugen's got her computer and we're parking out by the pool. We made it! Coachella day two, going to see Miramasa. Then we gotta get some water because it's like 100 degrees out. I am sorry I didn't vlog much today. It was kind of a whirlwind of a day, but I will catch you up likely tomorrow.
Monday. Kind of lost my voice <laughs> a little bit. It's like between the dust and singing and trying to talk over loud music. I feel like my voice is a little wrecked. I'm a little congested. It's very dusty out there. And I feel like I didn't do a great job of vlogging yesterday, but I will fill you in on everything. We'll have to do that probably tomorrow because my mom is actually coming to Palm Springs today. We're all gonna go to brunch. So I'm very excited for that. And then after that, we're going to the festival for the last day. It's been so much fun. I can't wait to like tell you everything. But for now, I'm going to find coffee. I'm letting my hair air dry before I put some waves in it. And it's gonna be a great day. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put some curls in my hair and I should be good to go. Love you. Gals are ready. I'm actually so glad we didn't drink at the festival yesterday. So glad. I feel so it good feels today. So much <laughs> Got a full night of rest, very hydrated. We're gonna go have brunch with my mama. Yay! Where is she? <gasps> there she is! Hi! You look so pretty! Yay! Oh my god, you look so pretty, Mom! Hi! Yay! <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Oh my gosh, I know! Guys, we're back! Back in Palm Springs again! I know, look at us! <laughs> Well, plot twist, we could not get an Uber to the festival. <laughs> so we called my mom to come back and we're heading to the pool. <laughs> Literally could not get a car. So we're making this a girl's pool day. <laughs> a pasta dinner with the gorgeous gals. Very close. <laughs> Hi, finally and officially. <laughs> it's like 1.30 or 2 right now. I had to catch up on work this morning. Just putting in a packet of my BT fountain for some hydration. Let's go down to the pool. We're going to Thai food. Thai smile was so good. That was delicious. What did we get again? Key Mao noodles. <laughs> we were just talking about how good they were. And we also got vegetable spring rolls, which are so yummy as well. Actually, I don't even think that you really wanted those at first and then you love those. I can't do, I can't vlog right now. Listen to my shoes. 
My feet are so swollen from Coachella. I can't. I'm gonna talk to you later. Can I please get a, can you do a decaf latte with oat milk, please? If you need more vanilla, let me know. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're it's officially our last day. We're leaving tonight. I'm so sad because this has just been such a wonderful time. If you know me well, you know Palm Springs is one of my favorite places and I just have absolutely loved being here. I loved being here with Eugen. We got along so well. Eugen and I are newer friends. And so, you know, you never know when you travel with someone. It can go one of two ways. And it definitely was just perfect. I would rate the entire trip and Coachella experience a nine out of 10. And the reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is mostly just because of the logistics. And let me explain. <laughs> I was not planning on coming to Coachella until my friend who essentially puts on Coachella and Stagecoach, he's like the head of the company that puts the two festivals on. I've known him for 10 plus years. He reached out to me actually while I was in California. He was like, are you coming? Please come, please come. I'm like, oh, I don't know, it's so last minute. I don't know if I can find a room in time because if you are familiar with Coachella and how these festivals work here, then you already know this, but hotels and Airbnbs and all sorts of stuff like that, they book out super far in advance. And so trying to coordinate and plan a trip to Coachella, essentially two weeks before is kind of insane. But I told him, I was like, look, if everything flows, if I can find someone to watch the dogs, if I can find a friend that would like to go with me, if I can book a room, if it all works together, then I will come. And lo and behold, it all just flowed perfectly and organically and it all worked. So with that being said though, even though we did find a room at a hotel that I was familiar with that has been great for all intensive purposes, it's not the most convenient location to the festival. And the reason why that's a problem is because traffic trying to get in and out of the festival is insane. So what should be a 25 minute drive turned out to be like an hour and a half ordeal. And that is why I am not giving this whole experience a 10 out of 10 because it would have been a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't so much of a struggle to get to the festival slash get home from the festival. And on Sunday, we quite literally couldn't get a ride to the festival. We tried Uber, we tried Lyft, we tried over and over and over, and we couldn't get anyone to either accept our ride request or if they did they would cancel and it was just such a struggle and we actually as you as I told you I'm sure in the vlog I can't even remember at this point but we couldn't go to Sunday we couldn't go to the third day which is like so upsetting and if you're thinking Shayla why didn't you just ask your mom I'm telling you it is so insanely stressful trying to get into the festival it's confusing for cars if you're not familiar with it I would never put my mom through that uh so that wasn't even an option so I wasn't even going to bother asking her because that would have been just so stressful for her and no. So Sunday we had to make the executive decision to just decide to not go. We're like, how long are we gonna wait for a car to pick us up and sit here? There's a possibility that we can't get one. I don't know how long we should wait. We kind of had this issue on Friday, but because it was the first day we were like, we're not giving up on going. But because my mom was here on Sunday and we both were a little tired and it was really, really hot and neither one of us were opposed to spending more time with my mom, which that was the silver lining of that is that she ended up not being too far away because she was driving around looking at properties. And so we decided in a split moment to just take the fact that we couldn't get a car as a sign and to call my mom back and have her come back. So I called her, I was like, hey, do you wanna come back and go to the pool? She's like, what? You're not gonna go to the festival? Cause she knew how badly I wanted to see Blink-182 on Sunday. I'm still not over that. Honestly, I'm really sad. I really wanted to see Blink-182 on Sunday among a few other artists. But we were like, look, we can't get an Uber and I don't know how long this is gonna take. And we were already planning to go later in the day on Sunday since we had been there for so long on Saturday and Friday. And we were like, go to Target, pick up a bathing suit, come back and let's just go to the pool. And it ended up being so amazing. I definitely do not regret making that decision because it was so fun and so nice to get to spend extra time with my mom. You know, that was the only upside to every Uber and Lyft canceling or declining our ride requests was that we got to spend time with my mom and we had such a nice day. But I am sad that 
It was a little stressful and chaotic trying to get to the festival. And I am really sad that we didn't get to see the artists on Sunday that I wanted to see. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I really badly wanted to see Calvin Harris on Saturday night, but he didn't go on until I think like 11.45 or close to midnight. And we were so tired and my feet hurt so bad from walking. Mind you, we, we were walking like 30,000 steps a day while we were there. That's a lot in like 100 degree heat. So we left before Calvin Harris too, because we just thought, you know what? If it's gonna take an hour and a half to get home and it's gonna be madness, cause it's really challenging to leave after the last headliner. And we both were just so tired and I didn't wanna like make Eugen stay longer than she felt comfortable or myself stay longer than I felt comfortable. And it was just, we made the executive decision to prioritize feeling well on Sunday for my mom over staying for Calvin Harris, which, I'm kind of sad about, but it's okay. It all happened perfectly. I would say a trip getting a nine out of 10 is a pretty darn good trip. It really went off without a hitch. And one of the sets that we saw Sophie Tucker was just amazing. Like we were right in front because my friend had given us artist passes. So we were able to be right in the front of the stages and it just was such an amazing experience. And the time that I did spend at the festival was just so fun. And yeah, I had a wonderful time and just grateful. I do miss the dogs though. I'm excited to get home to the dogs and I'm feeling excited to get back to my routine. I don't have really anything planned in the coming weeks other than my birthday in two weeks. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for that. But yeah, I thought I would just give you a little debrief because I'm not totally sure how this vlog is gonna turn out. I did my best. I really did my best. There were definitely core memories that were made. I ran out of my peak tea, BT fountain. So I'm having a little liquid IV pack in my water because it's supposed to be a hundred degrees today. It's another hot one. And we're not leaving until night i think our flight's at like nine so it's an overnight flight and we have to check out of the hotel at 12 so i think what we're gonna do is eugen is actually working right now in the lobby and we're gonna go get lunch and then i'll probably just like hang out by the pool and work and i'll probably have dinner at the hotel and then we're pretty close to the airport where we're staying so we'll just take off from there but i'll vlog a little bit today before we go but i just at least wanted to like give you a rundown of the trip i am basically all packed which is great and i just have like sweats in my little weekender bag to wear on the plane tonight and like a little t-shirt probably just gonna wear my bathing suit today and hang out by the pool before we have to go going back to nature's that little health food store for lunch and then I think we're both gonna get a coffee and or a matcha because we are both tired. Our AC in our room actually this morning, I didn't tell you this, woke us up with the loudest noise. <laughs> we thought it was gonna blow up. So anyway, we've been up since like four o'clock this morning. We need caffeine. We're desperate, <laughs> desperate. Desperate. She actually just tripped over her luggage. I face planted. Face planted She's okay, that's the only reason why I'm laughing. I'm surviving. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. She toppled over and I just froze. <laughs> I was like, and then like a minute later, are you okay? It should be a meme when you oh don't have God, coffee. so funny. Is that our Uber? No. <laughs> it's a sweet little, sweet little couple. Anyway, off to lunch. <laughs> Eugen copied me for lunch today. <laughs> no, this garden wrap is so good from here. It's basically just a salad in rice paper, but it's delicious. <laughs> We got the flautas, which look so good, and then their vegan rice and beans, which look so yummy as well. Have you guys ever seen an airport like this? At least not in Southern California or New York. New York would never, there's literally no one in here, but we're heading back home.